Adon Hangedon, wake up. Adon Hangedon, rise, we must go. Mother, what are you doing here? Are you still dreaming? We came here together. Now we must go. I thought... I thought I'd lost you. But you're here. I am here. I have always been here. Are you all right? Better than all right. Good. Now come. I have heard screaming in Ganyan Geha close by. You must learn what is going on. This could all be my fault. What is your fault? What have you done? Look at the one in the left. She is not the one you want. Why has Washington sent his men to raid the frontier? Washington? To find somebody. A native woman who tried to take it from him. Well, he will not find me by you. <gasps> What could Washington have to do with this? He is no longer commander-in-chief. He retired to Mount Vernon. A lovely fantasy, right on Hagelin. You know Washington went mad with power long ago. I tried to stop him, but failed. And now I have brought down his wrath upon my own people. I do not understand. None of it fits. Keep are we... Washington's men are raiding Concord right now, murdering everyone. They're looking for you, Ganadio. King Washington. Come. Never imagined you would strike us so recklessly. Are you talking about Commander Washington? Why did that woman call him king? Many innocent people are suffering because of me. No. Only tell us where she is and these people live, refuse, and they burn. It's really quite simple. We don't know who you want. Very well. Please, please. There are women and children in there. Are you a monster? Do not do this! You had your chance. Free them! This is all because of me! Get as far away from town as possible! Find shelter in the forest! There! This is madness. I cannot understand what is going on.
need your help! Help me load the cannon! Washington's troops do not retreat. They advance or die. To Lexington. We will have a better vantage point from there. If I had only succeeded in taking a scepter, now I must make amends. Scepter? Mother, this all becomes more and more difficult to understand. There she is. The savage that tried to steal the source and symbol of my power. Gaze upon it, or it will be the last object you will ever see. I come here to destroy both you and your sad village. For none like you will be allowed to live. Commander Washington, why are you doing this? After all we accomplished, take hold of your senses. <laughs> Another delusional savage. I have never had such a firm grasp on my senses. Now bend your knee to your monarch, and make penitence in the last moments before you are blasted to your dread reward! Corporal, take care of them! That's a Hagaron! A blue coat over there! Stop them from setting off the powder keg! Kill anyone trying to light the fuses! He tried to destroy the entire town. It is all my fault. I do not understand. Washington knows me. He is a man of reason, if nothing else. But that was not the man I once called my friend. Are you confused? When would you ever have met that monster? I met him. I... Mother, this is all wrong. Washington, the violence, all of it. We must get back and warn our people in the village. Before the Mad King spreads his destruction there. Get on that horse. <laughs> Take that horse, Redon Hagedo. The Lexington I knew was the scene of a great triumph. Now it is a place of disaster. This way. It will be faster. Mad King George is on the war path and intends to destroy our village. We need every able body to protect it. Come with us. We know. Oyanair sent us to collect the boughs of the Great Willow. She means for us to defend our people. To make the tea? Has she lost her senses? The tea's pitfalls overshadow its power. You must not do it. You have seen what it can do. Is it dangerous? I have seen it. It is worse than dangerous. It is a promise of madness, even death for those who lack the Constitution. We cannot disobey the clan, Mother. Believe me! The tea of the Great Willow is folly. Come back with us. We will fulfill the clan Mother's request. We will collect the bows. 
Speak to Oyanair, and if you can convince her, we will burn them. I intend to. What is the tea of the Great Willow? Something our people should never have discovered. It is the tea brewed of the Great Willow's virgin boughs and consumed by our warriors. It grants certain strengths, but for every physical boon it gives, it robs a piece of the mind. It must never be made. Did you drink it? Never. But I have seen what happens to those who do. You are the son of a man of violence. It would affect you far more than anyone else. I will not allow you to drink it. You intend to brew tea of the Great Willow? Have you forgotten the consequence of drinking it? I have not. No, Ganadio. But when our people face a threat like the Mad King, there are no other paths. No other paths. We can fight them as human beings. My son and I have had success, just the two of us. Imagine the strength of our whole village. And how many of these fearless blue coats have you brought down at a time? Two? Five? Ten? Thousands will come to destroy us. Thousands that you awoke. People's survival depends on the strength of the Great Willow. You are as mad as the King. Do what you will, but my son will not drink the tea. Then, like you, he will die. Stupid old woman. What would you have us do, Mother? We have no choice but to fight. I know. I have something that will help. Something from your father. My father? He left it for you long ago. Before he died. My father left those for me. He was part of an order. A secret brotherhood. I know who my father was. And I know what those are. You do? They will certainly help. How do you know all this? I cannot explain. Everything is all wrong here. All of this should not be. You should not be. I watched you.
General Putnam. General Arnold. I sometimes despair of our project. I question my abilities and my strength. But with you two at my side, I believe we will bring liberty to this country. We will bring it with fists of iron. And I have assurance of your loyalty. You have my solemn pledge. And mine. Thank you, honorable gentlemen. This country will remember you. Give no quarter to the savages! You will not succeed here. <laughs> you? You survived. How astonishing. This time I'll make certain of your death. You are fighting the force of liberty! Away with you! With my power, I will rule over a free world! that here for good measure He is awake. Where are we? A safe place, by the grace of your brothers. The village. King George burned it. It was after your mother. Your stubborn mother. Where is she? She did not listen, and now she is dead. You take the news well. It is something that I knew. That I know. But Commander Washington, the revolution, how did this come to be? No one knows how King Washington came to possess the scepter. But now that he has it, no one can stop him. We were surviving, staying out of his way. It's your mother tried to steal it from him. And that just angered him more. Now, our king are dead. And the people of the frontier are murdered and imprisoned. How did we survive? By the strength granted us. By the great willow. A strength you now must find. But my mother, she said... Your mother was a fool, full of ideals and bullheaded. Now that King George's power has been threatened, he is making slaves of everyone. Redonagedon. 
It falls to you to make good on your mother's mistake. Journey to the Great Willow. Climb her. Retrieve the virgin boughs in her canopy. Drink their essence and gain the power to fight. To bring down this mad King George. What power? Gather your strength and I will show you. You are ready. Great Willow, at the top of the mountain. Yes. I will return with the boughs and perhaps some fresh meat to cook. Oh, never mind the meat. Just bring back the branches, boil them in water, and drink the tea. Only then will you be ready to return and fight back with your brothers. Drink her strength. Become one of us. Leave no tracks leading here upon your return. Go. I will meet you at the Red Willow Tree. You are on your own now. How dangerous is it? Each journey to the Sky World is unlike any other. For some, it is very dangerous. You will find your answers are at the very top of the willow. I am sorry, Mother. I must speak to Washington to make sense of this. It is the only way. Was it just a dream? Could I... Could I actually... You best stop moving.
Brother Ongedon, I am happy to see you. Hello, my friend. Have you seen my brother? I last saw him just before I climbed the Red Willow Tree. We were tracking bluecoats and lost sight of each other. I am worried that he is captured. I fear you may be right. Was your sky journey successful? Very successful. Perhaps you can join me in the search for my brother. Any secrets you learn from your journey may be very useful. Such a great warrior must not be lost to us. Of course I will help you. This old man's body is still warm. In this weather, it cannot be more than two hours since he died. During your sky journey, tell me, what animal called to you? It is difficult to talk about, but I was fortunate to meet the wolf. <sighs> this fire is still smoking. They were just here. The blue coats were here. Let's keep searching. After the fight, the prisoners were marched up the hill. You seem to have the nose of the wolves. What with me? I didn't do nothing. Wasn't hurting nobody, just hunting deer. The mother fellas is who you want. What others? Bunch of shoulders. I know them. Nasty fellas. Saw them rounding up engines over yonder. One of the braves. Did he have a hand marked on his face? You mean like a big tattoo across his chin? Yeah, I seen that fella with him. Hard to miss. Take us to this camp. Uh, sure. Sure. Whatever you gentlemen want. The wolves. Use them. Help me. Savages. For the love of the They're going to kill me. Brother. My brother. 
I knew you'd find us. It's thanks to Radon Hagedon. Radon Hagedon. We will make sure that these people are taken care of. You should return to the clan mother. She will want to hear of our adventure. Arnold's men followed your trail back here. Your brothers fought well, but there were too many. I thought the tea... Gives strength, not immortality. It gives me life. I have never felt anything like it. You must be careful. Respect the power of the tea. Your mother was right. To worry about the danger. Uh... I am certain I can defeat anyone. Good. First, kill Arnold and stop the destruction here. Then kill Washington. You must succeed. Radonagedon. If not you, nobody. We are very grateful. I would help you with your people, but I must get to Valley Forge. Once everyone is safe at the refugee camp north of here, I will join you at Valley Forge to help you to repay your kindness. No need. But if I see you there, I will be happy for your help. You may find other camps full of our enslaved people. They are sad reminders of Arnold's terror and devastation. It's very dangerous here. Guards everywhere. They stalk the edges of the camp with dogs. These are very good dogs, Radunagedon. Alert, with sharp eyes. If you get even many yards away from them, they yowl and bring the soldiers. Thank you. It is not safe here. Go home. You have repaid my kindness. You will succeed, Radunagedon. Goodbye. I must speak with Arnold myself. Yes, sir. I'll arrange a detail to escort you immediately. I do not need one. You are acting commanding officer in my absence. If anything should go wrong, well, your widow will be provided for. Dismissed. Yes, sir. Strong to me. That bear'd soon eat us as look at us. He looks friendly enough. <laughs> friendly until he's hungry. Even so, our duty ain't as bad as that. Why? What's now you got to do? Clean the cage. <laughs> the bear! Get the bear! Well, General Arnold will have our heads! Yes. 
I have waited a long time to end your treachery. You escaped me once, but today you die. Who are you? What, what is happening? You know who I am. I've never seen you before in my life. Washington's apple. He, he uses it to control men. You, you have to believe me. I, I, I was not in my right mind. What you did at West Point was of no one's mind but yours. West Point? I, I never set foot in that fort in my life. Please. Washington. He, he's gone mad. You, you have to bring him down. He's, he's no more a man but a monster. Find Benjamin Franklin in Boston. Uh, he can help you. But you have to... Fr you have to free him. Free him from where? Where? <clears throat> Got you. Enjoy your nap! <laughs> it's a shame about old Arnold, but I had to laugh at your expression when I hit you. Great big eyes and then out! <laughs> out like a light! God damn you, Putnam! <laughs> you woke up just in time. We'll be arriving in Boston. Town that will soon be mine. Washington will love it. But, sir, the man who defied you, the man you shot point blank, I give him to you as a little gift. <laughs> Look, he wears a wolf hat, too! You have gone mad! All of you! <laughs> <laughs> With that, he'll kick out Ben Franklin for sure. And Boston will be mine. It's in the bag. Just like your head! <laughs> Oh, yes. You will make for quite the gift.